I'm just fast forwarding into this video um, but I just wanted to talk about this hat that I'm making so I've made this hat before I'll put a picture and it was just in this red colour but I decided to do a two-tone hat and it's using oh, it's Megan let me check Megan Faith makes blanket stitch beanie tutorial um, which is a really really easy tutorial to use and yeah so I've nearly finished it I've just done the ribbing and the stockinette stitch up and now I'm doing the decreasing around the top of the hat but yeah I need to get this hat done before it's not cold anymore mm -hmm. to do the decrease which is obviously a more fiddly bit so previously when I'd made knitted hats I just like made a tube and cinched it at the top um, but now I actually have to do like technical knitted stitches um, so I'm just gonna add in my stitch markers and then start doing that and then it should be quite quick just to finish off the rounded bit and then I have my cute little hat. So I thought whilst I'm, this glare is really annoying me. Now I'm pink. Um, I thought whilst I was making this video, I would share some fun facts about me. Not all of them are fun, um, just some facts about me so you can get to know me if anyone cares I don't know um okay so I'm 28 I just turned 28 on the 5th of Feb and I share my birthday with my twin sister I was born and raised in London until I went to uni so CBA to explain my uni experience because I went to like two different ones but I basically ended up doing my degree in Bath. I have family that live near Bath and I would always say to myself when I was younger and we were visiting Bath that like I'm gonna go to uni and hit uni here. Um, so it's quite nice that it ended up coming true. Yeah so I did my degree in Bath, which like, I kind of enjoyed. I don't use my degree now. Yeah, it was all right. And then me and my boyfriend ended up buying a flat in Bath, which we're renovating, which is probably why you're confused why I keep being in hundreds of different locations. Um, we were staying at his parents for a while, um, but I decided in this year, because it's nearly done, it's probably like a week left, that I would stay with my parents in London. Right now I'm at my grandparents, just because my grandma isn't very well, so I'm keeping my granddad company. So, I just need to check the pattern, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, so after my... Oh my god, the screen! <laughs> after I finished my degree, it was in the middle of Covid, which was fun. And I sort of had found this job and decided to go like work in social media. Um, which I've really been enjoying and I've had a job, a few jobs in social media and now I'm a freelance social media manager, which I just love doing. Like, I think it's 
the perfect role for me. I love the flexibility of being able to work from home, being able to work anywhere. Um, it means I can see my family more. I can, you know, help my grandparents. Yeah, so I love that. Um, I'll do one more fact. I feel like I'm going to share all my facts. I feel like I'm drawing, doing like a draw my life. <laughs> um, one more fact. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Next project. This has probably be probably been my longest whip. I probably I think I started it in no, I started it in like June. Thinking like it'll be ready for winter. And it's still freezing here, so luckily I can still wear it even though it's nearly spring. Um but this pattern is by and it's an alpine stitch so it's crochet but the alpine stitch makes it look really interesting and I base like nearly finished it I just need to make the arms longer and I also did a crochet rib on the bottom but I think I'm gonna undo that and do a knitted rib just because I think it looks a bit nicer and then I'll do a knitted rib on the cuffs as well and I don't know what to do about the top because the pattern it is just like a straight neck, which I quite like. Um, but if I wanted to add like a bit of a small bit of ribbing, I might do that. Um, but yeah, it uses a lot of yarn. So this is this much and I had to get another one to finish it off, which will probably be like a quarter. So then I need to think how to use the rest of it. Um, but I've forgotten how to do the stitch, so I need to memorise that again. Um, but I think it was it was just like a row of single crochet and then a double crochet. <clears throat> but yeah, as you would have seen on the videos, it is really cute on and because this cuff is a bit tighter it like cinches in and it's not straight down um and on the pattern she had a miffy face which i could do or i could do something else um i could change it up for different seasons it's a very versatile jumper Just an update on how the jump is going. So I took the crochet ribbing off the bottom and I just started doing a knit rib. Um, I'm just hold, holding the needles on there for now whilst I work on the sleeves. So I'm pretty sure they're at the right length now for me to do the cuff. Yeah. Kind of hard for me to try it on because I've made this bottom bit is quite tight. I wonder if I can. Oh, I don't think I can. Can I go in from the top? No. I'm going to keep doing the ribbing at the bottom and then once that's done I can try it on and check if the sleeves are long enough. Just on the last cuff, 
Um, so back to my fun facts. A fun fact about this jumper, it was actually stolen. So I started it in June, July. Is this blurry? Am I blurry? I don't know, that's better. So I started this jumper in June, July. <coughs> and I made most of it, like the main body, kind of to what I'd done up to at the start of this video. And then probably in about in September, we were going to London and I had this crate, like this basket of things, including this jumper in it. And I stupidly left it outside the car in a dark like alleyway like it was hard to see and it got stolen and then by some weird events this woman contacted me and said that she'd found this jumper hanging out the side of a clothing bin now i don't know if i trust her but i got the jumper back so amongst the things was like my bag, my purse, got my purse back too. Um, my Apple charger, which is like £70, so I lost that. Obviously sad about that, but I was more sad about this jumper because it had taken me so long to make it. That I was sad that all that work was just like gone. So I'm very happy to have it back and to finish it. Because... I've got to give it some respect but it got lost and there's a reason it came back to me so I need to finish it. She's done mum isn't this adorable Time for the next one. <clears throat> next whip. This is going to be a quick one because I'm nearly done. But we have a chunky knit sock. And I've got the other one here and I just need to finish off the toe. Um, there's a bit of trial and error on this toe and I kind of just like made up the pattern actually based on how the hat rounded up so I kind of like copied that and made this little toe. Let's try this one on. Oh. It's not perfect but this is like my first sock. So they're like good snuggle socks. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just going to finish this one up. I need to remember how I did it because this was like a month ago. Are my stitch markers. Back to my fun facts. So another fun fact about me is I'm very quiet. Like I don't normally have that much to say I'm thinking a lot um and like so if you first meet me you'll probably think like oh my god like she's literally not talking but I mean it happens to a lot of people but it can take a while for me to like warm up to you and if you really get to know me like I'm a lot more chatty but also just like don't have much to say and I've struggled with that for a long time because I felt like it was a bad thing but I just enjoy I enjoy pe being in people's company um, and I say things you know when I think they're like <clears throat> important but I'm not like 
a waffly person unless you're my boyfriend or my sister then i will literally talk your ear off um but yeah i've always worried that people don't like me or can't like figure me out because i am just very quiet and i enjoy obviously i love being with my friends but i also i just love like a like literally right now like a quiet evening i can just knit or crochet i can watch whatever whatever i want on tv i can read and i can go to bed early and that's just perfect for me which takes me on to my did i do it right fun fact is that i love reading so i used to read a lot when i was a child and then sort of stopped and would only read if i was like on holiday like sunbathing um but in 2022 my friend got me into reading she gave me this book and i just was like oh my god that was so good i set myself a goal to read one book a month last year i think i read like 14 um and then this year i was like no that was in 2022 i did the same in 2023 so i read like 13 books this year i was like i'm gonna double that and i'm gonna read two books a month which i know for some po people is probably like really easy but i do find it quite hard but so far so good it's the end of february and i've read four books so yeah and i love like romance books and i've been getting really into true crime and recently because of so many people like my whole tiktok is like the actor series and fantasy and i've never been a fan of like fantasy things like i only recently just watched hunger games like the first one but i wanted to know what the hype is about so i read like a light romanticy book and i think i could try like the akatar series <clears throat> but i'm just so nervous that i'm not gonna like it <laughs> that's one of my hobbies recommend not looking too close to these especially on the left one but they're still cute that's my third whip done on to the next for my last whip this is probably like the quickest well it is the quickest one i've just got these little gloves which I actually made a tutorial on a few months ago so you can I'll link that down below um so I've got one glove and I this top bit has just the binding off has come undone so I just need to do that and then literally just sew it up the side and then that will be done and that'll be my last whip so I'm just going to do that. <clears throat> this will literally take me like five minutes. I'm just going to sew up the side and leave a gap for my thumb and then at the top. Does anyone else find that like 
if you're knitting or crocheting, your hair is just like weaved in through it. Like, if this is like a gift for someone, I'm like, here, have my hair as well. <laughs> I feel like I need oh, some fun facts. Oh my God. For this whip. Um, I guess I'll just do like a quick fire round. So um, I was born and raised in London. I have a twin sister. I was a ball girl in the 2012 Olympics for the tennis. Um, Think of any. Um, I've never broken a bone in my body. I've like sprained my little toe. That's probably like the worst thing I've done. Touch wood. Why does my life sound so boring? I promise I'm interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'll list some countries I want to visit. So I visited. France, Spain, Corsica, Sardinia, Malta, skied to Italy. What's that country that's like in the middle of France and Spain? I can't remember what it is. Um, I've been to Ireland, Wales, America. I was a counsellor at summer camp in America for two months in Pennsylvania and then I went to New York, Boston and Maine. Countries I want to go to are Australia, I want to go back to New York, Japan, Italy properly, Singapore Oh, I want to go. Oh, I've been to Sweden. <clears throat> I want to go to like, I'd like to go back to Sweden. I want to go to Denmark. Where's Copenhagen? Is that in Denmark? Anyway, I finished my glove. That was literally like five minutes. I don't know what it is, I... What is that? Oh. That smells good. I gravitated towards pink and red with these whips. I guess they're just like a good colour combo. So first we've got... What do I do first? My hat, which I love. This is probably one of my favourites. Um, so we've got that. And then we've got my jumper. <clears throat> which I'm wearing. This is so snuggly. And then the socks. Which probably are like technique wise the worst. And then my little gloves. So I can finally start a new project. Because I've been saying to myself I'm not starting anything new until I finish my whips so I've finished now so I can go to the shop anyway thank you so much for what oh I had to move that light because it was on a table which I'm using as a tripod so <laughs> ignore that light <clears throat> but thank you so much for watching check out I've got a bunch of tutorials I'm going to be doing like a lot more sewing um, for summer and I've got like a quilted jacket hopefully tutorial that I want to do so check out my other videos and subscribe for future videos but thank you so much for watching goodbye